an environment in which forgiveness and grace are offered, like freely offered, this is necessary. It's necessary in order for people to be honest with themselves and, and with others in a way that leads to growth and, and healing and wholeness. You see, I'm only going to take the risk of honesty about myself with other people. I'm only going to do that. I'm only going to admit my flaws and shortcomings and weaknesses and sins if I know <laughs> there's going to be grace and mercy and forgiveness. See, if you don't have this environment of grace, it all goes underground then. Then it all gets hidden if there's no mercy and forgiveness. And, and, and that's true for all of us. By the way, <laughs> you know this, but I'll say it anyhow, there are no people who've never sinned or been wrong or made foolish mistakes. Those people don't exist. Zero of those people exist on planet Earth. I bring this up because I'm seeing examples of people who are unwilling to forgive others. I'm seeing this, and it's not good. It's not a good thing. This is not, for sure, this is not what God wants when it comes to how we treat each other. You say, how do you know what God wants? Well, because he's told us in his word. He's made this clear. This is what Jesus said. This is recorded in, in the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verses 14 and 15. Jesus says, if you forgive those who sin against you, your heavenly Father will forgive you. Verse 14, he goes on and it says, but if you refuse to forgive others, your father will not forgive your sins. We need to forgive each other.